wrap up the regular medicine shop post-game capsule brought to you by the medicine shop. Again, your final, 27-18. Hutchinson, a winner. Coach Drew Dallas making his way in here. Rob, we'll see you next week, okay? Yeah, looking forward you to it, Thank you. We'll step aside, get set for the coaches show right after this. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. Drew Dallas now joining us. Nice win, 27-18. Well, we had a fight for a little bit, Drew, in that second half of play. Give Garden City credit. They came back, came back strong, but we were able to get the big touchdown when we needed it to, and the offense and defense stepped up in the last few minutes of the fourth quarter. Yeah, I mean, you know, they're, they're a good team. They're talented. Um, really felt like we missed a lot of opportunities in the first half, uh, putting that thing away early, and, um, you know, talked about it at halftime. You know, needing to just come back out and play cleaner, and and I I think we did a little bit, but there was still too many uh, just missed opportunities to to put that game out of reach and let those guys stick around. And when you let a team that's talented, regardless of how um, you know how their season's gone, when they're talented like that, and and they have an opportunity at the end, you, they're you're going to give them a chance. And they did just that. They capitalized on a couple of errors, and um, we're fortunate to get out of here with a win. In all honesty. I had a couple defensive stops uh, that looked like we had the sack, looked like we had the incomplete pass, ended up being uh, roughing the passer penalty, and then also, of course, the targeting that went along with that. And all of a sudden, they had an opportunity to to uh, to, to pull within and possibly even tie. At that time, it was 20-18 to 18 after they scored, was not able to get it done. And then they had a couple other opportunities, but Hutchinson came up with, with the big, big uh, score. And Beeson just had a monster day with two touchdowns uh, late in the ballgame to kind of seal it. He did. He made some big time contested catches, you know, for touchdowns. Uh, I mean, he's a heck of a player, and um, when he gets those opportunities, you know, he was taking advantage of them. And um, you know, he made two unbelievable catches. Uh, I think a one hander early on in the game, and then that one that was contested there at the end to just kind of make it a two possession game again. Uh, those are big time plays, and uh, really played extremely well. They were able to connect with a minute and 13 to go at the uh, in the inside the second quarter right there with a Buckley 46-yard pass that ended up being a big touchdown that uh, got them on the board at 26 and maybe set a little bit of, of, of positive vibes for Garden City into their dressing room because they came out in the third quarter and really shut down our interior run. Yeah, I mean, we just weren't able to get it established there in the second half at times, you know, and we've got to just do a better job of being consistent, you know, and that's really what it comes down to. Uh, you know, three red zone turnovers, you know, on drives that, that we had put together and then turning it over and coming up with empty, you know, just empty drives and, and no points. Those things hurt us, hurt us in a big way. And like I said, I just um, – our guys made enough plays uh, to, to come away with a win, but we're going to have to use this as a learning opportunity and, and – be a lot cleaner and get a lot better uh, if we want to accomplish what we want to accomplish. Samari Collier, the transfer quarterback, came in with two touchdowns, short yardage situations, one from four and one from three yards out, and his longest run was a 23-yarder. But what I like about the dual threat threat quarterback that you have, when when Samari decides to run, it's a situation where you have an extra blocker out there. Yeah, I mean, it just gives you a chance to match numbers, you know, and hopefully – uh, be able to to spring some some longer runs with that, and um, when defenses have to account for a guy that's uh, like him, you know, it, hopefully it takes one more guy out of the run fit for the running backs, and, and it's, it's been an essential part of our success, you know, up to this point. Garden did a good job uh, defending the run overall. You know, there's tough yards out there for us, so um, you know he, he gives us a great th threat back there along with our running backs uh, that we have. You know, I feel like. We left a lot on the table there today, and we've got to get it cleaned up and get it fixed. 27-18 is your final. Hutchinson winning and chatting with Drew Dallas on the post game right now. Daniel Brown defensively, eight total tackles, five of those unassisted, three sacks. He's a monster out there at that defensive end spot. Yeah, he is, and, and some of those sacks were really, really unbelievable plays. I mean, just the finish, the fight. You know, he's such a good football player. He's dynamic in a lot of different ways, and, um, man, he, he plays extremely hard. He gave those tackles a fit and um, did a really good job. You know, and I thought in their passing game, they did a good job getting the ball out of the quarterback's hands quick early on to just try to limit, you know, some of those uh, quarterback pressures and hurries and those kind of things. Um, but he was able to, you know, step up and make some good plays there, especially there in the fourth. Let's step aside. We'll come back and talk about Highland. The final here, 27-18. Hutchinson, the winner, back right after this. I 
standing with Drew Dallas after a nice 27-18 win over Garden City. Go to 7-0 and on the year, 4-0 and in the league race. We travel up the Highland. Always a tough place to, to go and play up there. And we uh, take to the road again, uh, traveling all the way up to Highland for the ball game. That'll be a 12 noon kickoff coming up next week. Yep, they're they're having a great season. You know, they're very good defensively. And, um, you know, just going making that trip up there, it's going to be a dogfight. You know, it's another Jayhawk Conference opponent, and, and they're playing really well right now. So, um, you know, we'll have our hands full. And like I told our, our football team in the locker room, you know, we got to play cleaner. Um, they're a good team, and they can make you pay with mistakes. And um, we made too many of them today. And if we do that next week, we're going to be another dogfight with those guys. And I, yeah, I've been, I've been worried about the Highland because it just eats, they beat this Garden City team three to nothing. So that shows you the caliber of both the both teams right here, twenty seven eighteen. You can't scoreboard watch, but you know they're going to they're going to be shooting for the Blue Dragons, and that's the way it is when you're number one and you're the Blue Dragons. They're coming after you. Yeah, you're going to get everybody's best, you know. And in this conference, everybody's capable of winning a football game any Saturday, and um, you know. I expect them to be a really, really competitive team, you know. And so um, we've got we've got to just worry about ourselves and going up there and playing it. And sometimes games like this can springboard you and you can make positives out of it. So uh, we've got to find a way to do that this week because we know they're going to be a, a very formidable opponent and uh, playing extremely good football right now. Coach, I'll let you go. You'll uh, catch up with Rob on Monday as you have Dragon Talk 6 o'clock on Monday night on BW Radio, and you'll talk more about uh, this ball game, kind of digest as to, to what exactly took place, but the 20 27 to 18 victory over Garden City. We'll take it today, get that win number seven. So uh, good luck uh, to you this week in practice. We'll talk to you up at Highland. Thanks, Glenn. You bet. Drew Dallas after a nice win over the Garden City Bronkbusters, 27 18. One more time out. We'll be back with more right after this. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. Glenn Grunwald, your host. Special thanks to Drew Dallas after the nice win, 27-18, talking about what needs to take place this next week. And also special thanks to Rob Dreher for all his work. Again, doing a good job. Luke Riker back at the stadium, at the station, excuse me, running in chief engineer work today. Appreciate it very much. Tune in for Dragon Talk coming up on Monday night on BW Radio. Also go to the podcast page of HutchPost.com as we uh, will have a documented there, Drew's post game right here that we just uh, listened to and all the post games as well. Don't forget them also, Dragon Talk. Chiefs football coming up to, on Sunday. That'll be a 325 game against the Chargers out of Los Angeles. That'll be a big matchup uh, coming up. And also Chiefs Kingdom on Monday night at 7 o'clock, directly following, again, uh, Dragon Talk. Dragon Talk from 6 to 6.30, Chiefs Kingdom at 7 o'clock coming up on Monday night. So join us next week as we'll be up at Highland, bring you all the action from Highland as the Blue Dragons try to go after their eighth win of the season, see if they can maintain that number one ranking as well. So on behalf of everybody associated with the broadcast, we appreciate it very much. This has been the Blue Dragon Sports Network. I'm Glenn Grunwald. So long, everybody. Drive carefully. Again, your final Blue Dragons 27 and the Busters 18. So long, everybody. <laughs>